hi hun welcome to another video on the channel now usually we do my hair but today i want y'all to meet cassie yeah we're gonna be doing cassie's hair today <laughs> so um actually i want to do a v-part wig today i've been wanting one but i've not been able to afford all the ones that i've seen so i decided to make one for myself so um i'm gonna take my wig cap and put it on cassie now you have to make sure that you're putting it the right way because yes this wig cap can be inside out it's possible okay so make sure you check the stitching to know which side is correct and which side is inside out then once i put the wig on cassie i'm gonna turn her you know to the other side <laughs> that sounds so weird now the hair that i'm using is my leftover kinky from the bubble braids that i did a while back so as i took out the bubble braids i kept the kinky and now they are coming in clutch for me i didn't have to buy any additional hair the only thing i had to do was buy the wig cap okay i'm gonna take one lock you know how all these kinky extensions come they come in like clumps all right so i'm gonna take one clump and then i'm gonna divide it into four just because the holes on the wig cap net are quite small and they are not flexible like they're not elastic so if i try to crochet too much hair at once it's going to um, it's going to cut the lace. I'm going to try and crochet, you know, the hair in small, small sections. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that we all know how crocheting goes, you know. So you open the crochet hook and then you, you know, chuck it inside the net. Then you hook the hair, then close the hook, pull the hair to the other side and then loop the hair. I really hope that made sense, but that's that's the exact description of what i'm doing and i'm just gonna keep doing that again and again you know crocheting small small sections of hair onto the wig cap now i must admit as i was crocheting the hair sometimes the net actually cut there were some instances where it was just too much for the net so i had to go back and you know make the sections even smaller so you know I, I just did my best with the crocheting and i crocheted from the top to the bottom and i just you know try to make the the wig as full as possible but without making it too big so it doesn't look unnatural because you know you've seen some of those afro wigs that are just huge that everybody would just know at first glance that yeah that's a wig you know i'm not trying to do that i'm trying to make this look as as natural as possible you know so yeah i mean you've seen the thumbnail right you've seen the thumbnail it's like i'm cheating you know so yeah from the bottom to the middle i made sure that the crochet like i was crocheting a lot of hair yes i was working in smaller sections but i was crocheting like thickly yeah but as i got to the top i reduced the amount of hair basically so the top is a lot scantier than the middle and the reason for this is so that it will be easy for my hair to blend into the wig so after you know all the crocheting and everything it's time to do the actual v parting part of the wig so what i did was this um closure aspect of the wig cap i cut it out to give that shape now i know that this isn't a v this is more like a like a u but we're, we're we're gonna get it we're gonna get it okay so after cutting out the lace um i'm going to take these wig combs and i'm going to attach them in strategic places so that when i put on the wig i can secure it to my hair and there will be no shifting because ah hair must not go and shift though in <laughs> public after everybody has finished telling me oh my god your hair is so it's so full i'll be like oh, yes thank you and then the other thing will come and fall down hard god forbid may we not be embarrassed in jesus name <laughs> so as you can see i'm sewing the wig comb to the wig cap and i didn't really pay attention in home economics class so i don't know what style of stitching this is but it's to i would call it overhead stitching i'm stitching it from top to bottom over the head i don't know okay you can see you can see what i'm doing okay right all right so once i'm done um attaching the wig comb i'm going to just make a loop and tie it i'm just going to i'm going to tie the thread basically the my method of tying the thread is may look weird to you but just tie the thread and then cut it that's just the cocoa of the oral right now <laughs> It's just so evident that I did not pay attention in human economics class. Try. So that's how I go about attaching the wig combs to the wig cap. I attached one on both sides of the V part. Then I'm going to attach one in the middle 
just to help um, with the stability of the wig. Um, then finally, I'm going to attach one in each corner of the wig just to help the stability. Like I said, we cannot go and be embarrassed in public. Let's not do that. So I put as many combs as possible just to make sure that when I put this wig on, it is secure. So after a grueling hour and a half of doing this crochet with absolutely no back support, it is time to see whether my hard work has paid off. So my hair is already in jumbo twist and I'm just bringing out the hair that I want to use to cover the tracks of the wig. So once I bring that out, I'm going to, I know that by now, now I'm supposed to put on a wig cap, but I don't have a wig cap right now. I'll go and buy it later tomorrow, but I just really want to see how the wig, you know, is looking. So I first clamp the middle comb and then the ones at the side now i know it's not looking like a v but i'm just gonna go ahead and trust the process okay so those side combs the fourth and fifth one i'm going to hook them as well and then for the back i'm going to just pull it over the rest of the hair that is packed and then um i'm going to hook the wig up like i know my face is calm but damn in my mind i'm like is this for real is this for real is this actually working is it actually like working yeah so um i undo my twist and then i just kind of detangle it i finger detangle because i don't want it to be all like straight and poofy my hair isn't wet right now so if i brush it it's just going to stretch out and be straight and i don't want that so i'm just going to use my fingers to kind of separate um the twist yeah after separating the twist i'm just going to kind of try to blend my hair into the wig you know and make it look as natural as possible and i kid you not in my mind my mind is my mind is over the moon right now like my face looks calm but in my mind i'm like is this real did i just pull this off like did i just do this right and it's already looking so natural it's already looking like it's everything on my head is my hair like i'm so proud of myself right now yeah so after blending reblending and a little bit of a trim i threw on this headband and mind blown no i did not just do this i did not just black girl a little too close to the sun per yo like book me now book your u part v part headband wig from me right now because girl <laughs> anyway that's the end of this tutorial because i'm off to go and feel myself like like I, i'm off okay i'll see y'all in the next video <coughs> Purr.